This is Windows 11. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today guys, I'm going to be taking a look at Windows 11. As you guys can see here, I have a fresh new copy of Windows 11 installed. And yeah, let's get right into it. Before we do, you may notice that if I go into display set, no, not display settings, personalize, you need to activate Windows before you can personalize your PC. If you have Windows 7, 8, 8.1, or 10, you can also you can get a free upgrade to Windows 11. Also, one thing I could do is I could type in Winver. As you can see, I am indeed running Windows 11. Uh, this is a development build, as you guys can see here, but it runs pretty much the same. But if you want to activate this to be able to personalize your stuff, if you don't already have Windows 7, 8, 8.1, or 10. Let me show you guys how you can activate it in like a virtual machine or something. So what you want to do is open up the start menu, type in CMD, run it as administrator, hit yes, and you should have this. Now over here I happen to have a few things written down here. Three commands that you want to type in. So I will leave these in the description. But you run the first one. Let's copy the second one. It says right here, install the product key successfully. That's good. Now, let's run the second one. Now, that ran successfully. And let's go for the last one. And this one will take a little bit of time, but right here, product activate successfully. Now, this is not a permanent solution, because if I type in that, this uh, stops on um, December 13th, 2021, but that's fine for now. This is good for testing. So let's get into some of the new features. Alrighty, we have a lot of new changes here. This is the new custom or the new default wallpaper. There are a few different ones that you can choose from, but um, the, let me show you guys something, hon. Huh? So let me show you how to find the other wallpapers. You go to this PC, C drive, Windows, Web, and then you have a few different options here. 4K shows all the shows the dark mode and the light mode wallpaper so you can choose these if you want to you also have screen some other stuff here these are for lock screen touch keyboard because apparently you can have touch keyboard themes and wallpapers which are more here pretty interesting if you ask me let's get into a few changes now as you guys can clearly see the desktop is a lot different but the start menu is also different now if you don't like having these icons centered let me show you guys how to change that so you would go into your personalization settings like here you go into start no wait taskbar taskbar alignment you can change that to either left or center if you change it to left it's like how it normally was Change it to center and everything's in the middle. Pretty cool if you ask me. Uh, there are a lot of different things you can choose here. I'm going to change everything to a dark theme. So you can basically go, go over to colors once you activate Windows during that method. Or if you already had Windows you know, activated before and you upgraded, this will also work as well. Let me also change to a new uh, background to the dark theme. One second. So basically, of course, I go to uh, browse here on under the personalization thing. I click browse, go over to see Windows web wallpaper, go under windows, and I can select IMG 19. And there you go. You can also use custom wallpapers, obviously, but 
I like this theme better. Also what I recommend you do is change it, remove the desktop icons unless you really use them. Now you have a very clean setup. Now let's get on to some new features. I will leave timestamps in the description so you guys know when to get to this point, but as you guys can see, the desktop looks much better in my opinion. The start menu also looks better if you want to access all your apps. You click all apps. These are all the apps that come pre-installed. Pretty cool if you ask me, but then there's also something else that I want to point out. So let's open up a few applications here. Okay, I don't know why I opened up Microsoft Edge, because this is a pain when you first start it up. However, hold on. Let it do its thing. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's close out of that. I guess I can't. All right, yeah, sure. Firm. Cool. I don't care. All right, so if you go over here, if you hover over the middle icon, it's up bright. If you hover over the middle button here, the maximize icon, you can actually snap icons into a certain location, or snap programs into a certain location. Now, that's not it. If you go down here, you have groups. So any of the windows that are currently in a group, you have group. And you can either select one or the other, or you can select the group, which is already open. So let's open up another app. For example, Photos. Photos. Um, yeah, the Photos app here. If you want, you can select just Photos, or if you want to just Windows Explorer, you can open up that, or you can just go here and go to Groups. Pretty cool. I'm glad they added that. Now, of course, you can also see icons have changed, so there is that new feature. Um, yeah, there's that. Now, I have some more features written down, so I'll be right back. So, I just looked over my um, new features list. This is all that appears to be it. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to make windows look better from starting off with the first theme. One second. Starting off with this, I'm going to show you guys how to make windows look cleaner. So, um, hold on, let me just set everything up here. This is what it looked like beforehand. Let me show you exactly how to make it look cleaner. So first of all, first thing is first, disable desktop icons if you want to do that. Next up, let's go into personalize. Um, change it to the dark wallpaper. Of course, you won't see it right away. But if you click browse, go over to the, your C drive or wherever you have Windows installed, Windows, Web, Wallpaper, Windows, and it's IMG19. So you choose IMG19 and you have the dark theme. If you want, you can also go for a light theme, either way. But then choose the color based on the wallpaper you picked. I'm going with a the dark theme. It also has a little bit of a transparency effect, so that's pretty neat. Oh, wait, what happened? Oh, okay, I don't know what happened there, but let's change it back to the dark theme. Next up, block screen. You can change it to whatever you want, but I suggest changing it to picture. Turning off Cortana and the fun facts. Also, you can change your wallpaper to whatever you want, but this is just what I think it looks neat. Um, let's see. Uh, themes, we don't need to worry about that. Start, turn off recently added apps and recently opened items. You could enable that, but I'm keeping that disabled. Also, I recommend just turning these on. Sorry guys if you hear me clicking, but turn that, turn those on. Taskbar, um, all from here you can disable task view, search, and widgets. Those will actually look pretty good. Also, I suggest maybe pinning that. But then you can also disable this if you want. I, if you want, go ahead. This basically shows notifications if you have any, but I'm leaving that. I actually, I'll just turn that off for the sake of this video. Device usage, you can do whatever you want with that. And that's basically it. Um, also, hold on, open action center. To clear all notifications. Yeah, with a very clean Windows look. Um, yeah, I think this looks amazing. As you guys can see right here, I have VMware tools because I am running this in uh, VMware. 
But yeah, um, also one thing they did remove, which I don't like, is if you right click this, you don't get access to see the, um, the, uh, what is it, the um, task manager. You don't see the task manager, however you can right click on the Windows start button and go to task manager here, and there you go. Also I would recommend pinning that. This is actually the first time they are adding like a new icon for task manager. Overall it looks the same, but that's about it. Um, I gave this virtual machine 8 gigabytes of RAM, uh, NVMe SSD, 80 gigabytes, CPU is my standard CPU. But yeah, other than that, it's, yeah, um, that's about it. Also, make sure to disable anything here, I suggest clicking status. So you have enabled at the top and disabled at the bottom. And just disable whatever you don't want. I'm going to disable that and that, but I'm keeping the VMware tools on because it's a virtual machine. Now, other than that, that's basically about it. Also, let me show you another cool thing that they have here. Hold on. All right, so I'm going to reboot. I'm going to reboot the system. And let me show you the uh, boot up screen. Shouldn't take too long, but yeah, let's restart and I will be right back once the boot up screen shows up. So you guys can see here, this is it. Sorry guys if you heard a truck go by. But yeah, that's about it. Um, this is not the most professional video I've made, but yeah, I decided to quickly get this out. I, you know, I'm just trying to remain quiet, but yeah, I might as well just make a video. Uh, also, I don't know why it says 8.16 a.m., but that's cool and all, whatever. Um, that's not the actual time, though. But yeah, um, yeah, that's basically about it. Um, also, let me show you what happens if you enable this. All right, so let me take a screenshot. All right, let me go over to the screenshot in question. Oh, that's another thing I suggest you also change. This feels all over the place, but change that to this PC. But you launch screenshot here, then go into the start menu. It should, well, it should show up here. Hold on. Yeah, it should show up here, but I guess it's not. But yeah, also there's a lot of junk installed. Let me remove some of this stuff here. This is stuff that Windows normally installs, which I don't like. Um, a lot of this stuff I don't really use at all, but it's but it recommends that I have this on here. You can just uninstall the stuff. Um, tips: I think I know how to use Windows, but yeah, um, these are all stuff that you can have pinned too, so you can pin different things here, and yeah. Now I didn't notice a small thing, the tiles are gone. I don't like that, I love the tiles, but I guess they're getting rid of that now. But yeah, other than that, that's basically about it. So without further ado, let's end off this video. Let's have this on screen. As you can see here, um, Microsoft Windows version dev, OS build 2196.1. This is Windows 11 Pro, however the ISO that I found has Home, Enterprise, and everything else installed. But yeah, that's about it. Also, but yeah, um, I don't know, it was recently leaked, however, on um, June 24th, mark your calendars everyone, because that's when this, up this update is supposed to be rolling out. Pretty cool if you ask me, but yeah. Without further ado, see you guys in the next one. Oh, there you go. Alright, peace. Bye bye.